red carpet. You can trust Living Local DMV is here to identify the lip looks. And those who probably just need to sit, please welcome our fashion panel, Jesse Francis, fashion historian and content creator. Welcome, Fabulosity. Oh, hey. Bonjour, Jesse. So this is just to let you know that we're going to be working across three different time zones. Okay. Paris, London, and DC. Sounds good to me. So I can do nine o'clock will be perfect. Okay. So yes. let's tend to do nine o'clock and we'll check with the UK if it works for them Sounds as well. Good. And I landed here and this just made me so happy. So I'm not sure how to pronounce it. How do you pronounce? Oh, I'm reading this and this just resonated with me. It means trust in God. Oh, I do. The first time since 1986 where Haiti is at a real turning point in terms of its political development. The state is almost quite literally breaking down and disappearing before. We are about to be on TV. It is 9.05. I wanted to be here. Like we have to mic up at 9.30. I'm on set at 10. I'll do a proper introduction after this. I'll be on set at 10, but I wanted to be here a little earlier. Sit this down because I want to change, but I messed around and didn't leave earlier enough. So it's all good. This is actually the new station. Hi, are you on set too? Okay, oh, well. Is so this how I was reading the instructions. Yes. They didn't, they stopped here. So I called the operator. Okay, good. But they, I tried to know. Because I feel like the last time I went uh, up further. But now this entrance is, doors are locked. Yes, and you know, the handle didn't move. Right. Like, this is a secure location. Because okay. so you have people running Exactly, just running run up in here. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I feel like I went up. Oh, yeah, the last okay. time I came in, I went up. Okay. That's going to be my movie wardrobe. Listen, we use what we have, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we make what we have. Yes. But love it is fabulous. Mercy. I love it. I love it. Thank I love you. it. I had to do a little Yes. Hello. 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 I need some coffee. Good morning. Are we coming to our morning? Ah, no, is it this way? Yes. Here. Yes. Yes. Thank you. This looks so different. I don't get your face. Okay. I don't get your face. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Go ahead. After you, my dear. Thank you. Thank you. Be on my blog. You say hi. What is it? I'll have to get your Insta so I can tag me. <laughs> Hey y'all, I'm here with my girl Jessie, aka Jody. <laughs> Like, mm, you're cute. Okay. I'm always so scared. We'll like, just do a little block. Yes. On your cheek. I know. Yeah, I was like, that's like my fear. We'll just do a little block. And I smile we'll so much. Tally. I know. I was like, we'll do a little block and have. This is also like, this is a gloss. So this kind of like a just pink. to give me a little shine. Something. Something. Lipstick. It looks good on you. Is this even lipstick? Yeah. Okay. It's like a tube. It's a tube. You've never worn like a color of. It's like Not a really. It really suits you. Like, I yeah. am so boring. Okay. I never wore 
floral color until like my wedding, which was a really long time ago. And it's like over 10 years. And then now I do it every day. I think that would be. Because I feel like I would need it. Oh even my God. by myself. <laughs> 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 like, now we have to do the teeth check. So like, yeah. I'm going to be terrified. Yeah, yeah. Then, like, so do I have to blot? Do I have no, to do I do. Like, don't. Oh, don't. Just leave it. Just um, mm -hmm. If you, so what you can do. Oh, put your finger in. Yeah. And then that gets it out of your inner. So that, okay, no, that's always my fear. Yeah, see, I keep getting that, so. Um, you're closest to me. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to Anytime there's a celebrity red carpet, you can trust Living Local DMV is here to identify the lip looks. And those who probably just need to sit, please welcome our fashion panel, Courtney Ray O'Neill, stylist and founder of Corden, L. White. Red carpet host and media personality, and Jesse Francis, fashion historian and content creator. Welcome, Fabulosity. Yeah. 
Oh, I gotta get you. We gotta show me the honey. That's cute. Basil. Oh, my dude. Mushrooms. Show me the honey. This is a sponge cloth. You guys, you can each have a sponge cloth. Oh, okay. These are good to know about. So, they so what, what a sponge cloth. Oh. Eco friendly sponge and towel replacements. Oh, that's nice. so you, you wet it, and it becomes like a cloth. And then um, do the dishes, clean, yeah. all that sort of stuff. It's really cool. Yeah. And then. Um, Thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, it dries quickly so you don't get that like icky sponge smell. Oh, and then nice. the best part oh. is it's um, eco-friendly, so it's biodegradable. You can throw it in the compost bin. It lasts for like oh, wow. several months. Several months. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can wash it in the dishwasher. I love that. Cool. I love that. This yeah. is awesome. Really good to know about. Let's get a picture oh, also. Shuck like, yeah. Shuck yeah. Let's sneak behind here. Oh, yeah. Let's look my phone in here. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I lost it. Yeah. It's a video. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a video. yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Tell us, Jody. Oh, we're the neighbor girls. You can find us at theneighborgoods.com and you can get some fun and awesome gifts. Yes. <laughs> Shut yeah. Yes. You see. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to be sharing y'all's story. Okay, yes. Focus. Throughout the day. Yes. Okay. Long trek home. Wish me luck. Yes, girl. And yeah. I will be in touch. I have your information. Oh, yes. We can't forget oh, that. Right. Wow. That is very, very, Jesse. <laughs> very generous of you, Jesse, to make a donation. Girl, yeah, you leave that. I'll, I'll, I'll hold it. <laughs> wow. For you. Oh, that's the time. It is insane. insane. It's like I'm wearing it to bring it to you. Right. <laughs> I promise. Yeah, it just so happened to go with my own. Right. Right. I'm just so happy to come from dinner. And right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do well. Uh, no, you, you, we were taking pictures and you had it. Yeah. And I was like, do you want your bag? That's why. Um, so upset all of this litter and i don't have my bag with me when i had baby china in a carriage i typically have a bag with me let me zoom in because this is gonna bother me bonjour mas ami i was and now i'm recording i'm on the phone with the bestie bonjour mas ami it is tuesday morning and i am going for my walk i truly believe that i am one of few people who just really wants this cold weather to remain. It is so cold, like I'm wearing my fur head and gloves and all, and I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna take a walk, then I am going to go to the market to pick up some produce, get home, and today I really need to sit down on the computer. I'm super, super proud of myself. I uploaded the vlog that's posting today on Tuesday. I posted that last night for the membership. If you are not a part of the sustainer circle, this is like public radio here. Consider doing it. Like I can't promise you unicorn and glitter, but I go live, I share things in advance, and you know, it's just a small way to support cappuccinos and consignment. So I had that video posted today. Actually, I need to do a thumbnail before it goes live. Yeah, but today I feel like, I don't feel like, I know I need to get some things done like online as far as emails and all because I have some more travel approaching, but I wanted to hop on, get today started and yeah, I'm so excited. I had so much fun yesterday on the lit or sit and you all know that's like just not something I do. You all know I don't like talking about people's fashion choices, but that got me out of my comfort zone so to speak so we my hands are getting cold i want to put on my gloves i will check back in probably at the market or something Alrighty, ciao for now
Bonjour, Jesse. So this is just to let you know that we're going to be working across three different time zones. Okay. Paris, London, and DC. Sounds good to me. So I can do nine o'clock will be perfect. Okay. So yeah. let's tend to do nine o'clock and we'll check with the UK if it works for them Sounds as well. Good. Never tell when I'm like having my AirPods in, especially when my hair is down. I hope that I am in frame because at this point I just let Jesus take the will. I um, had a call. I had a call this morning right after my walk. Actually, let me put this on mute. I don't know if y'all can see my laptop, but I like have a lot going on right now. So after my walk this morning, I went to the market, got um, leafy greens, carrots, smoked salmon. What else did I get? Like grape tomatoes, potatoes, just a bunch of, and like these shots that I drink. So once I got back from there, I had a meeting, then I needed to eat lunch because I don't, I'm not a big breakfast person. I just had like a single shot of espresso. So I had lunch, then made the rookie mistake. I did a quick workout after that. Now I feel just so nauseated. Like that was so ridiculous of me. Wanted a change of scenery. So <laughs> my MacBook, my Mac, I have that playing. I'm listening to, I'm taking a course right now. So I have the course playing and of course I'm multitasking, which I utterly detest. And it's been like scientifically proven that no one's really good at multitasking, but alas. So I'm listening to this course and I am replying back. I have a, another new segment next week. So I need to get them over some information that they have requested. I um, emailed a few brands just telling them thank you so much for the products that they sent me. And like I haven't even showered yet i'm still like in my workout attire the person i was meeting with they are based in paris and so i hopped on the call and i turned the camera off because i'm looking just so crazy and it was a last minute call because we need to make a hire really soon and i had this on and she's like wait where are you <laughs> And there it is, I potty. It's like people are at the cafe with their spring attire on, giving all of the spring equinox. And this is where I am now. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that was really, really good. I am going to get this information done after I finish with this. I have a few other things. I posted the vlog today publicly. And I'm just going to get a few more emails done. Mostly everything else I can do. I can do intermittently, but I want to get this done now, reaching back out to the news station to confirm everything. Well, not to confirm, but to send them the information they requested. And I'm going to shower, put on a caftan, and just really get into chill mode. So that's pretty much it for the day. I don't think I have anything else that I need to get done or is quite interesting. Oh, my screen timed out. So yeah, let me just get some emails done. I can prop up the camera if you all want to see me work. And yeah, until demon. <laughs> Ciao for now.
Isn't true, Naza? Me, I feel like I'm just always here. Truly, this is where I spend so much of my time. So I am prepping. I have an interview with an attorney today for a project and I, it's a panel interview. So I have a few questions and I'm hoping um, to get those answered before we get on the interview. Yesterday, we're, we're going to catch up. Yesterday was pretty, um, just mental, a lot of mental exercises and a lot of, let's see, I'm going to open this, a lot of mental exercises and physical exercises. I went for like three walks yesterday and it, it was just so needed. I cannot tell you all enough the power, the power of just getting fresh air. <laughs> it, it just means so much. So um, let's see. I have a million tabs open mentally and technologically. <laughs> uh, I need to increase the timeout on this phone because it times out so quick. Um, let's see. So I, I did my espresso video today and yesterday when I went for my walk, I didn't speak but I put a caption on my video speaking about self-sabotage. And I feel like today, which is Thursday, I'm going to chat about that when I go live. So I used to post two vlogs a week, but I, I that's just something I don't want to do right now because one, it is very, very labor intensive, but I discovered that I really, really like going live. So now my new schedule is I will post a vlog on Tuesday and then go live. This collar is killing me. And then I will go live on Thursdays. So today and today's live. And when you are watching this, possibly on a Tuesday, I don't know when you're going to see this. I will link the live reference because I really want to talk about self-sabotage. I had no clue. So many as I me. Um, were experiencing that as well, or really not even realizing that that is what they have been doing for so long with self-sabotaging. So in today's story, where I do my cappuccino preparation, and I share that on TikTok and Insta, I spoke about how I, the reason why rather, I am discovering I have self-sabotaged for so long. Everyone's reason is different, but I have done a lot of self-work and shadow work to get to one of the reasons why I know I self-sabotage so and then my podcast the podcast is live today on a vlog that I posted the vlog the weekly vlog where I did like I took you all with me to meet with my personal style client I was packing for the cabin and I recorded the interview with my business daily that's live now so I'm super excited about that I haven't listened to it like this morning I didn't oversleep at all I was definitely up but I um just took it easy like I'm really really leaning in I'm not even leaning in I have been operating in this space of slow living and it has been such a vibe such a vibe so this morning baby Chena was just so snuggled in and it, it's cold it's pretty cold here she was just snuggled in did not want to get out of bed and I just embraced that moment and realized how much how much of a luxury it is because so much of my life I never had the option one to not have an alarm clock to just let God <laughs> wake me up I was always like go 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 so it's these things in life that are just making me so happy and I enjoy that time which put me behind because this what I'm doing now I um, planned to do earlier because yesterday was just, it, it was a lot going on in the family, just mentally, just a lot. So, um, but say la vie, like we're, we're good. We are good. So I had, I made mental notes of everything, but I didn't share them in the shared file. Hiding pens because baby Tina takes them. 
she will write on the wall in a heartbeat. My phone was still on silent from the from the new segment, so I haven't been getting notifications. Empty thing. I'm just reading right now. <laughs> share this with my iPad and this my dears is one of the reasons that as much as I am so team Android I am loving how everything is just so connected because I have like 60 million tabs, tabs open here And send it to my iPad as if I need another device open. This is the biggest thing. Now. <laughs> Can you show Tante your wiggle wiggle? Wiggle wiggle. Wiggle wiggle. Wiggle wiggle. Wiggle wiggle. Wiggle wiggle. Wiggle wiggle. Wiggle. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Bonjour, mes amis. It is, what's today? What's today? Oh, it's Friday. How could I not know that it's Friday? It is freezing cold. I am running into Target. I need to pick up a few things. I have made a checklist because, I mean, I cannot let Target have its way avec moi. Like, I have got to stand my ground. So let's see if I actually stick <laughs> to the plan. Uh, I feel like I'm just gonna get a hand basket and that will limit how much I can carry. But then if I get a hand basket, I can't take you all with me. Maybe I could just prop you all up in the basket. We'll figure it out. Okay, let's head to Target. Ciao for now. It's just him. The last two episodes. Yeah. The last two episodes are just about the. So frugal don't don't laugh at me as I mean I mean why do I need a whole wipe I do not need an entire wipe I've been here breaking down these wipes like I'm whipping up that work in the kitchen <laughs> stormy okay hold on hold on hold on hold on I'm gonna show you all what I have when I tell you I use my bags I use my bags. I don't think you all understand. It's to the point where I borderline like abuse things. I'm not paying the five. I'm not paying, I paid for this. I'm not paying for a paper bag. 
I had to check the receipt because I saw that I had $12.25. I had $12.25 on my like circle, the target circle where you scan and get points. But my total still came up to like $16. I didn't think I got that much. So I got some floss for baby Gina, each for the toilet, like those little pod. Let me take all this out, all this out. Some hair oil. I don't oil my hair. And I guess I need to start oiling baby Gina's hair. I think I have like a phobia. I grew up in the B&B. &B. Do you all remember that, the Grease, B&B Grease? I just remember being a little girl on the playground and just grease dripping down my face. So I don't even oil baby Gina's hair. <laughs> I put like a conditioner in it, but not the oil. But I, I'm sure she needs oil. And I do too, even though I, since working out, I started sweating a lot, I still need to oil my hair. And then I found these hoops. I'm gonna link them below if for some reason you're placing a order on Target. I'm really excited about these. So now I am going to head to the watch place. I told you all I saw a location that I think replaces watch batteries. I finally found this watch. The husband, he was the boyfriend at the time, purchased this for me when I graduated, we were dating for one of my degrees, he planned the most beautiful trip. Like you all know, I'm not, I'm an island gal, but I do not, going to the islands is not just my favorite thing. It, I'm, I'm just not into heat, sun, sand, pina coladas. But he um, took me like a few days after graduating, took me on such an amazing trip. Got to the airport, there was a Bentley on the tarmac, drove us all around well not all around the island we had a butler the entire time every morning when i woke up my gnt was prepared <laughs> it was just so dope so while we were there he got this watch for me and um it had been missing boosting baby china the husband was cleaning out her toy box and found this in the toy box wild and I want to get the um, battery replaced on this so let me call my friend back and I mean I don't think it'll be too much to see at the place where I get the battery changed but we'll see alrighty ciao for now store this is for you and this is for us it says one will be free of the stress associated with attaining financial success one will not have to travel to distant places to earn a living one can seek employment that is not stressful or harmful and that preserves his reputation. One will not have heartache from his business ventures, even from setbacks. One will be happy in any situation. Take a picture of this. Oh my God. Like what are the chances of and that that would be the page? I'm sending you the picture right now. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. I am so into this. I am reading. I cannot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I landed here and this just made me so happy. So I'm not sure how to pronounce it. How do you pronounce? Oh, I'm reading this and this just resonated with me. I'm like, oh. It means trust in God. I do. <laughs> I do. Oh my goodness. Okay. Thank you for this. Bye. That, oh my goodness. Yeah, I um I have to find a new therapist. And I need, I'm trying to decide if I want to do like online or Bonjour, Maz, I need, see, let me tell you, this is just a lot because, oh my God, this is also awful. I feel like Roscoe, like, um, constantly, one second. <laughs> I 
I'm constantly blowing my nose. It's like negative two. 30 degrees or so. I know I have this camera so crazy, forgive me. I'm trying to navigate. What are those things called? These little prickly balls. So in addition to these, I'm also navigating ice. I neglected to mention it is Sunday. I don't know the last time I actually recorded, but I, yeah, just have been taking it pretty easy, like getting things done offline. I have a Fox 5. If there's so much litter, this makes me so sad. I keep moving the camera because I'm trying to spare you all these despairing scenes. It makes me so sad. Actually, why did I cross this way? I don't know what I was thinking. Um, it is Sunday. So yesterday, I've been offline for a few days. And when I say offline, more so like Insta, TikTok and all. Yesterday I spent the day, I'm sending emails, getting some things done. I did not edit. I need to get the cabin vlog edited because I want to have that posted Tuesday. You all will see this on a Tuesday, but not the Tuesday approaching. So yeah, I did that. It was, oh, flash flood yesterday. That was a thing that was happening too. Our power kept going in and out. I hope, I mean, of course, by the time you all see this, it will have passed, but I hope that everyone, I, I feel like it was partly like mid-Atlantic or something, but I hope everyone is well. So it is about, I can tell you exactly what time it is, 9.19. I am wearing my Apple watch right now because I'm walking. It's 9.19 now. I am on my second lap. I've gone, see, I have to be really careful. I don't know if you all can see it in the camera, but this is water. I almost slipped and fell because it's, it's just a sensory overload. So the flowers are blooming. Like there's a lot of cherry blossoms in my neighborhood. So the cherry blossoms are just thriving, but then there's ice on the ground. Like it, it's way too much. <laughs> So we, I am going to enjoy this walk. This is my last lap. I'm going to enjoy this walk, listen to a podcast. I'm so disappointed to find out that I was not recording. I have been chatting for about three minutes, so I'll, I'll keep it short. But I am going to check in with you all once I get back in the house, showered and changed and all because I have my accountability group at 3 p.m. I want to get editing done and prepare for Fox 5. So this, I don't have to take as much. If you've seen my other Fox 5 segments, I'm typically taking a lot of clothes and pulling pieces from different stores. The models are wearing their own dresses. I'm just gonna provide the accessories, but I still feel like I want to have some more visuals. We'll talk about this when I get home. Alrighty, ciao for now.
thought into everything. And then I used to have a really bad habit of chewing my hair. And then I saw a segment, perhaps like 2020 or something, where a woman, it's too loud. I didn't want to get a copyright strike. Where a woman had like a 20 pounds or something of hair in her like GI tract. It was so gross. So yeah, that's one of the reasons. So just, well, not just wrapped up the accountability group, but I wrapped up the accountability group. My stomach is still hurting. It, it was just such a vibe. The group is, it's truly, it's like a sisterhood. Like it's not just for women, but thus far that's who has joined. We are sisters. Like we are absolute sisters. The way we cut up, the way we just, it, it's just such a vibe. And I'm so blessed. I am so blessed to be surrounded by so many dynamic women. Like the women in this circle, we are just, it, it just, it amazes me. It amazes me how different we are because we're all different. All of our personalities are totally different, but we are one. Like when we come together, it is just a vibe. So we kiki the entire time, like to the point my stomach started hurting, my face was hurting, just laughing so hard. Like we have some absolute characters. You all think I'm wild. You all think I'm silly. Nah, this, this accountability group will get you going. So we are I'm doing, we've been doing monthly projects, monthly projects together where we hold one, um, one another accountable. And I shared this month's theme. Why did I do this? It's still a month. Like a month is 30 days just because it's not a calendar month. It's still a month, but be that as it may. So share that today. So I sent out the recap email because not everyone who's in the group typically joins. And even that, like, I'm not going to get emotional. I'm trying not to. Even that is just such an honor. I have Mezami who are in this group who I know they are just paying just to support. Like some people have flat out just said, like, I know I'm not coming to any of the sessions. Like my plate is overflowing, but this is just a small merci beaucoup for you. Like for all that you do, I want you to know that I love you. I support you. And that, I mean, come on come on like that is that is just it, it's beautiful like it you all we're not doing that we, we're not going to cry right now but at least it's happy tears now like you all support me so much and I'm just I'm so thankful like to to be able to be here as why with all of my quirkiness, my randomness, my just to be me and you all to love me for that. It, it just, it, uh, I just said we weren't going to cry, <laughs> but it really does touches me. Like I'm, I'm just so thankful when you all send cappuccinos, when, when we go live and you all buy badges and send hearts, like all of those things just mean so much to me and I cannot thank you enough. So I sent out that recap. I have pulled together um, some things for the segment tomorrow because I, I feel like I shared that everyone's going to have on a black dress and I'm just going to style it in different ways. I am beyond thrilled that two Mazami, two Mazami said yes to join me um to be my model for the Fox 5 news segment. Of course, they are in the DC metropolitan area. And I just went out on a limb and is it a limb or a whim? Is it whim or whim? I went out. I put myself out there. <laughs> I put myself out there and they said yes. So that just filled my entire heart. So just pulled some scarves. I have a tweed jacket hanging and a purse. For the most part, when I am on the new segments, unless the only time I had designer items like logo designer items showing is when I did a segment on um, consignment, like shopping consignment, because one of the things was shopping for luxury goods, like designer luxury goods. But other than that, I try not to have logos on the set. I don't think anyone has told me that, but I, I, it's just a practice. I try not to. So yeah, I pulled these together. I was looking for earrings. I thought that I was going to be able to provide some. I can only find these that I'm wearing 
and the other gold hoops. I, I have my Bottega dupes, but those are the only ones like Baby Booster, Baby Chena takes everything. She takes everything from me. I have been looking for my gold watch for quite some time. I don't know if I shared that on this vlog or the last one, but it was in her toy box. So our little boosting baby, I'm sure she has it. So I feel like I have some vintage ones in the loft or something. I'm going to go and find those. But we, I am going to get these things packed because again, tomorrow, I just want to get out of here. I do not know what I am going to wear, but this is what I'm thinking. This dress before, I feel like I purchased it during stay at home orders. So I was pregnant and then I just never wore it. I'm thinking about wearing this. I really wanted to wear that Kate Spade. I have a Kate Spade like zebra print dress that I got some late early no mid last year I don't know I, I got it at some point last year because you all know that I am not shopping for clothes for the entire year of 2024 but if I'm not mistaken and I'm going to google it but if I'm not mistaken you're not supposed to wear patterns on um, camera I don't know if that's patterns in general or black and white or if it's striped or if there's like specific patterns so I'm going to try this on I, I have an idea for this I hope it works I need to try it on first again I don't want to wait until the morning for this and then I purchased the bag today I purchased a bag today the husband said that that was cheating it was not. I said I was not shopping for clothing in 2024. I did not say anything about accessories. So I purchased a Fendi bag today for $10. $10. It is authentic. The papers are papering. Of course, I can authenticate things. I should probably start doing that. Like that could be a whole other business. But say la vie. It is authentic and it is, I got it for $10. 10 US dollars. I'm going to tell you all how I'm going to do a separate vlog all about that. And I am just so thrilled. So yeah, when that comes, you all are going to see it. But I'm, I'm really, really thrilled about that because I haven't purchased anything for myself this entire year outside of these earrings. But I mean, and that's okay. Like that's totally fine. I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything, but I have been wanting this bag. I saw Dion Dean with it and yeah, I was like, I want this bag. I want this bag. I was about to say something else, but I forgot. Okay, let me try on this dress. See if this look is going to look the way I think it does in my head. So I don't know who needed to hear this. If you have an idea in your head for an OOTD, still try it on because sometimes the look doesn't translate from your head to real life. So I will see you all. Maybe I'll just prop the camera up and you all can see me packing, but I don't plan on talking anymore because <clears throat> I have to save my voice for the news. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao for now. She break dance. Oh, 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 you're hurt. No. You're you're hurt. No. <laughs> you want to take the camera? You want to vlog while mommy's? I see mommy. You see mommy. What mommy doing? <laughs> Does mommy look pretty? <laughs> Can I tell you that one of the best, the best feelings is when you have an outfit in your head and it looks just as good as you imagine. Like truly, I am not one to toot my own horn, but I need the tractor trailer like onk onk. I need that. I need that. <laughs> like this was so good. I will say the dress is a bit tighter than it was. Um, again, this was, I got this dress pre um stay at home orders and all and I was once a size two that is not my life anymore <laughs> after the baby I got down I got back down to maybe a four but then um just emotional eating grief with losing my mare I yeah but we're working on it. We are working on it. But I can say that this looks so good. And I am just pounds and all. I'm still very, very delighted with um, how it looks. I don't foresee us needing these. But of course, I would rather have it. Oh, I'm recording. Unless I need her <laughs> slamming the door. What happened? Oh, she got mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> Babe.
baby Chena is always slamming doors, okay? We don't even have a teenager, and she is already slamming doors. Ah! I wanted to take my friend Lair's bag. Oh, la, la. Yes, your dress is so pretty. Wow. Look at that. Oh, la, la. It has pockets. You came to break dance in your dress, baby. Oh, la, la. Okay. Oh, look at the spin. Ooh. Wow. Okay, you say ciao for now. Totally ciao. essentially outsourced its uh, financial sovereignty to the French. A Haitian bank was created in 1880 that was owned by a French bank and was designed to essentially funnel payments back to France in repayment of this indemnity, which was imposed as a condition of France recognizing the... And that is an extraordinary and I think unique situation in terms of decolonization. One of the consequences of that experience was that the United States occupied Haiti uh, in 1914, 1915 for 20 years and part of the behest of American banks and companies Senior. who were concerned about how to Senior. ensure continued flow of money Call from Haiti names. to the United States. So there isn't the first time since 1986 where Haiti has had a, a real turning point in terms of its political development. The state is almost quite literally breaking down and disappearing before our eyes. Currently no elected officials at all in office. The police are on the retreat. There is no military for all practical purposes. Haiti is now facing the prospect of living without any traces of a recognizable state for the first time in a long time. Do you view this as a primarily political crisis in origin or is it economic as well? I think it's both and above all it's historical. Bonjour, mes amis, and we are off. I got up super early. I could barely sleep last night. I just don't have good sleep hygiene. It's been like that since I was pregnant with baby Gina. I'd say la vie in bed a little bit longer. Replied to some comments on Insta, which I've been slowing down posting there. Where perhaps I'll do a actual vlog one day about slow living and all that that means for moi. Super, super excited about this. So that will be on the next vlog. I just wanted to officially end this. I did a workout this morning, hence the scarf. Jesus be a fence around my edges. I have them. They're just so thin postpartum. They, they, you know, they're, they're taking their time and I'm, I'm letting them well, I'm not even letting them breathe. <laughs> they're, you know, they're, they're slow to develop, but it's all good. So I am going to listen to a podcast and I can't look at the camera, of course, because I am driving, but I will see you all on the next vlog. Merci beaucoup. If you stuck around this long, I appreciate you so, 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 so much more than you all will ever know. So until the next vlog, ciao for now. Peace as baby Chena would say. <laughs>